What's happening beautiful people? Welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm your maths coach. Today we are going to be doing a lesson on thirds. We are going to learn how to break down a third and we are also going to be looking at how to rationalize a third. Okay, so what is a third exactly? A third is simply a number inside of a square root where if you were to type it into the calculator, it has a never ever ending answer. It is irrational. Other numbers, they may look similar to a third, but they are not a third. For example, square root of 25. You see the square root of 25 is actually a number. It is five. So therefore root square root 25 is not a third. Again, other numbers such as square root of 100. Okay, again is not a third because the square root of 100 is 10. Let's start with our first question. We want to simplify root 12. Before you do this, you are going to need to know your square numbers. So what are the square numbers? It is one times one, two times two, three times three, four times four, five times five, six times six, so on and so forth. You're going to need to know those square numbers to divide. Okay, so we have one, we have four, we have nine, we have 16. This will suffice for now, one, four, nine, and 16. If we need to add any more, we will do so, okay? Now, what do you wanna do? The aim is to divide 12 by the square numbers. Now, the best way to do this is to divide by the largest square number. So we can divide 12 by other numbers, but none of them are a square number. So for example, we can divide 12 by two, and that gives us six, but two, is not a square number. Square number that we want to divide 12 by is four. So we get square root of four and three. Okay, so four times three. The rule here is that if you have a number that is being squared and you multiply it with another number, okay, which is also being squared, then all you need to do is a times b, which gives us square root of a b. So if this was five times by three, then the answer it will be five times three in here, which is 15, okay? So this is a sort of example that you can use to follow. And division works the same way. So if you have root A divided by root B, so a number that is being squared divided by another number that is being squared, then you have here A divided by B. So if we can, we can apply this, so if you have square root of 20 divided by the square root of four, then 20 divided by four, we can do that inside the bracket, 20 divided by four gives us five. So the answer to root 20 over root four is five. So this is um, just something on the side that you can write down for your notes. Right, back to this, square root of four, we divided by that and square root of three. Now these are multiplying, remember to give you root 12. Now, root four is actually a value, so you get two, and two times by root three. Instead of writing the multiplication sign, you could just write three, so you get two root three. So this next one is root 50. Um, again, we can divide 50 by five, but five is not a square number. What else can we divide by? Remember, we're looking for a square number. Now, the square number that it actually divides by is 25. So we can do root 25 times by root two. 25 times two gives us the 50. And 25 is five. So you get five root two. So root 50 can be simplified by writing five root two. Right, now let's do root 20. Again, what's the largest square number that goes into there? I can think of four. So four times root five. So root four gives us two, and then we have five. Two root five, that is root 20. Sometimes you may have where it requires you to do some simplifying at the end. So have a look behind me here. It's got root 20 over two. Now we've just seen what root 20 gives, okay? So root 20 gave us two root five, and so we're just replacing root 20 with two root five, and then the two just follows on from there. So what is it that we need to do here? If you see here, uh, we've got two here and we've got two here, they can simplify. So we can divide this by two and we can divide this by two. They sort of cancel out here, and then that gives us root five. So the answer to root 20 over two 
is root 5. Now let's step it up a little bit here. This time we've got root 20 plus root 80. We know the answer to this already so we can just simply write this answer down separately. So 2 root 5, that's what we got in the previous example. Now root 80 will need to be broken down. We know that 4 goes into 80 and we also know that 16 goes into um, 80. Many of you may not realize that 16 went into that and you maybe started off with 4. That's okay. First of all, I'll show you what would happen if you did know that 16 can divide um, 80. Then I'll go back and show you what would happen if you started off with 4. Okay. Like I said earlier on, it's not, you're not doing anything wrong. Uh, it just means that you've got an extra few lines in your working out and you've got to do a little bit more simplifying, okay? So first of all, let's start with 16. So we know that uh, root 16 times by root 5. So 16 times 5 gives us 80. 16 gives us 4. So simplified, root 80 is 4 root 5. And remember, you're adding the two together. So 20, root 20 gave us 2 root 5 and we will now add them together. Now, they are the same terms. So root 5 and root 5, you're collecting them together. So you're just doing the 2 plus the 4, which is 6 root 5. And that is the answer to two, root 20 plus root 80. Now, I did say to you, what would happen if you didn't know that 16 times 5 gave you 80 and you started off with maybe uh, dividing by root 4? I will show you this now. If you didn't know that you could divide by 16 and you said, right, I, you know what, I can only divide by 4 times, 4 times what gives you 80? Root 20. So 4 times 20 is 80. So therefore this will give you 2 and then you'll get root 20. But root 20 can be broken down. You have to check that you can break things down. And we've broken it down here anyway. So this root 20 can be replaced with 2 root 5 in here. So we've just replaced root 20 with 2 root 5. And that 2 will just multiply out here, giving us 4 root 5. So 4 root 5 is the answer to root 80. And we are adding this along here. So 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5. And the answer will be the same, 2 plus the 4. So 6 root 5. And that is how you simplify thirds. Okay, so now we move on to rationalizing a third. You need to know when you need to rationalize a third. Now, obviously a question might say to you, rationalize the third, and you know that you have to rationalize. But often if you're doing A-level mathematics, for example, it won't tell you that necessarily. It might be part of your working out for another type of question altogether. To understand when to rationalize a third, you look at the denominator, and if the denominator has a third number in it, a square root sign in it, then you know that it needs rationalizing. Now the process is very, very easy. Follow the method that I'm about to give you. So, we got one root three. We will multiply the top, the numerator, and the bottom, the denominator, by that third. So what does that mean? It means to multiply by root 3, both top and bottom. Okay, so we have 1 times root 3, and that gives us root 3. And in the bottom, we have root 3 times by root 3, which is root 9. So we can write root 3 over 3, because root 9 is 3. Now, there are some rules here which I'm applying that some of you may not be familiar with. So I will quickly just go over some of these rules and then you may understand it better in case you are sitting there wondering how I'm getting some of these values. All right, so let's start with the first one. If you have a um, value, for example, root A times by root B, you only get AB multiplied. However, if you have the same number, it's the same value in the square root, so root A times by A, then what you end up getting is just A, that value here. Okay, now why does this happen? Because you get A times A, which is A squared in the square root, but a, squ a square in and a square root is the opposite. So they cancel each other out, leaving you with just a value of A. And to apply this for you in real life, I could have done it here. Okay, so where I saw root 3 times by another root 3, I didn't have to write 3 times 3 giving me 9. I could have written this answer 3 directly. Okay, so if I see something like root 5 times by root 5, I can just directly say, right, the answer to this um, is just 5. 
I don't have to write down root 25 and then say, okay, this is a square number, so that is 5. Okay, and this works with everything. So if you have, for example, um, 36 times root 36, okay, you could just write down the answer to be 36. And then you've got division as well, if you wanted to use division. So root A divided by root B is A divided by B, which we haven't had to use yet, but um, when we do come across examples like this, you may need to be mindful of that as well. Have we finished? Have we rationalized? Yes, you have, because now you'll notice there is no square root in our denominator anymore. It's just free. Remember previously we had a square root of free here and we needed to rationalize. Now we don't have that. Now we just got a value here of free. We don't have a third in our denominator. So that is our final answer. Okay, so why don't you try this next one, two over root five for yourself and pause the video and then come back to it. Right, so what do we do here? Let's follow the same principle that we used on the previous example. So we are gonna multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, by root five, what we have on the bottom here. So that's gonna be two times by root five, and then on the bottom, it's gonna be root five times by root five. Okay, and we can extend this division sign as we go along, right. Two times by root five gives us 2 root 5 and again what I said previously when you have this situation here so root 5 times root 5 instead of writing root 25 you can just write down 5. Now here you have 2 root 5 over 5. There's nothing in common here so you can't cancel down and this is your final answer. Why? Because there is no longer a third in the denominator in the bottom half of that fraction. Okay, so you here you have another problem. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom here by root 15. So there we go. Okay, so what does root 3 times by root 15 give us? We are going to apply our rule, which is 3 times by 15, which is 45. And here we can just write down 15. Now it's not finished here because root 45, if you go back to the beginning of the lesson, root 45 can be broken down. It can be simplified. So root 45, let's see what happens. Now you should be able to do this now. So the largest square number that goes into 45 is 9. 9 times 5 gives us 45. So root 9 is 3 and then root 5. So 3 root 5 is your answer to root 45. And we are going to export, take this answer right here, 3 root 5 and over 15. Now we have something that we can cancel. So 3 and 15, both of them divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we just have root 5 on the top and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the answer is root 5 over 5. You can also write this as 1 fifth root 5 as well. Have a look at this next example. This time we haven't got just one uh, term at the bottom, we've got two terms. Now the crucial thing here is when you multiply this one now, the top and bottom, you are not just multiplying with what's at the bottom. There is a sign here. You have to multiply with the opposite sign. So here it's a plus, so you have to multiply the top and the bottom by 3 minus root 2, okay? If this was a negative, you'd multiply the top and the bottom by 3 plus root 2, okay? So, once again, we are going to multiply, okay, the top and the bottom with this, okay? But we're going to multiply with the opposite sign. So the opposite sign is negative. So it's going to be multiplied by 3 minus root 2, 3 minus root 2 and it will extend that along. Now a key mistake that people make often is that they forget to put this into a bracket and when they forget to put this into a bracket look what they end up doing. They end up just multiplying just with that those terms and they forget to multiply with that one. So make sure guys that you remember to put this into a bracket. Okay now let's see what happens here. So 1 times by 3, which is 3, and 1 times by minus root 2, which is minus root 2. Quite straightforward. Here, refer back to the quadratic lesson that I did, 
um, to help you understand this, but this is quadratic expansion. So you're going to do 3 times by this 3, and then 3 times by minus root 2, and then once you've done that, written down the answers to that, you're going to do root 2 times by 3, and root 2 times by minus 2. So 3 times by 3 is giving us 9, so that's that one, and then 3 times by minus 2, so minus 3 root 2. Now, you will always, always find this happening, okay, I'm going to let this happen and then show you what you could have done to make it quicker, okay? So, next, we are going to multiply root 2 by 3, okay? So, we're going to do root 2 times by 3, and then we're going to do root 2 times by minus root 2. Root 2 times by 3 is my, uh, plus, sorry, it's going to be plus here, plus and the plus is plus, so it's going to be plus 3 root 2. And then root 2 times by minus root 2, remember it gives us just 2, but the sign is going to be a plus and a minus, so therefore minus. So it's going to be minus 2. Now what do you notice here? You notice here that you've got the same exact value, but one of them is a negative and one is a positive. So you're going to do this one minus plus that one, actually cancelling out. So they actually end up cancelling out and you're left with 9 minus 2 only to deal with. So the top is 3 minus root 2 and the bottom 9 minus 2 is 7. And that is your final answer. Now I did say to you what you could do in the future is this will also always happen. This will always happen. So in the future you could just ignore the middle two Okay, and just concentrate on the first one, multiplying with that one, and then the last one, multiplying with itself, like here. So let's do another one of these questions. Here we've got 4 over 3 minus root 5. So we are going to multiply here the top and the bottom with the denominator. But remember, we are going to change the sign. So we're going to multiply by 3 plus root 5. Okay. So 3 plus root 5, and again the bottom, we're also going to multiply it, making sure you put this into a bracket. So 3 plus root 5. Right, let's go. So 4 times by 3 is 12, and then 4 times by root 5 is plus 4 root 5. The bottom here, 3 times 3, which is 9, and then again you can choose to ignore the next two, but we'll continue doing it just for good working out and you're still learning how to do this. So I suggest you don't do this yet. Once you get a bit more experience on this, then you can start um, cancelling those out earlier on without having to write it down. Okay, so, um, so we've just done 3 times 3 and then 3 times by root 5, which is plus 3 root 5. And then root 5 here, which is with a negative, so root 5 minus root 5 times 3 is minus 3 root 5. And then finally, you've got minus root 5 times by root 5. Again, the sign will be a negative, so minus and 5, because both of them are root 5s multiplying with each other. Now, looking at this again, look, they will cancel, because a positive and a negative, they just cancel. And on the top, you have 12 plus 4 root 5 over 9 minus 5, which is 4. So an examiner may say to you that he wants an answer in its most simplest form. And here you'll have to see if there's something that you can cancel down. Now, 12, 4 and 4 here, what do they have in common? They can all be divided by 4. So 12 divided by 4 gives us 3, 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 4 divided by 4 is also 1. So this will be 3 plus root 5. So 3 plus root 5 divided by 1, but we don't need to write that. So that is the answer, 3 plus root 5. Hi guys, thank you for watching. I hope you benefited from this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with the latest videos and news. Over the course of the next few months, I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos geared towards the situation that we are in. Please share with your friends and your family and let others benefit from these videos. Goodbye for now.